Inside a cramped office in La Follette, we meet a crusader for veterans unlike any other. You know, it's just a great feeling. There is no person in Tennessee more talented at getting veterans the health benefits they're due than Kevin Walden. The great, greatest ability uh, with any claim is the stickability. Uh, you got to stick with it. Walden served 20 years in the Air Force before retiring five years ago. He now holds the post of veteran service officer in Campbell County. Walden credits God's guidance, his background in public health, and his two staffers for helping him battle the bureaucracy of the Veterans Administration on behalf of local military men, women, and their families. And we feel that uh, the VA does overwhelm the veteran uh, or the claimant. We take all that away. When, when, when a veteran comes in here, a widow, uh, to file a claim, all they do is sign their name. We do all the paperwork. It's a good seven or eight pounds. Vietnam veteran James Young holds up a stack of paperwork as proof of his ongoing fight with the VA during just the last two years. I could have signed up 23 years ago when I first came out of Vietnam. Even after enduring joint and shoulder pain for decades, and more recently cancer tied to his combat service, this 35-year veteran says he was reluctant to ask the VA for help. Well, I just feel like I was taking, taking time from another person that really needed it worse than I did. Kevin Walden heard about Young's condition and pressed him to apply for VA benefits promised to all our troops. And Walden promised he and his team would handle all the paperwork. It is life-changing. After exchanging letter upon letter with the VA, within months, Young went from getting nothing to cashing a check for a few hundred dollars a month. But then came yet another form from the VA calling for a cutback in Young's benefits. I've got an old saying. When you're dealing with VA, ever who runs out of ink loses. Uh, and we stuck with it, and we got him back to 100% permanent total. 100% for James Young means in two years he's gone from getting nothing to now seeing close to $3,000 every month. He's Godsend. And most of the people that I, I help drastically like that. They're in tears when, when, when they come to me. Uh, and, and it almost brings me to tears. He's really helpful. He knows, he knows the words to use, and he knows what to say. And, uh, all that veteran's got to do is walk through that door. It costs Campbell County about $120,000 every year to run this office, but it delivers more than $8 million every year in veterans' benefits. In fact, Kevin and his staff have delivered more benefits per veteran than any office like this in the state three years running. This map shows from 2008 to 2009, Kevin and his Campbell County staff ranked first out of Tennessee's 95 counties, delivering more than $2,000 per veteran. Knox County ranks 58th on that list, bringing in a little more than $900 per veteran. Nearby Union County is 74th, drawing on average around $760 per veteran. Morgan County sits at the very bottom of the list, pulling in less than $100 from the VA for every veteran living in that county. Right now in Tennessee, there's just a backlog of veterans uh, getting benefits. And Walden guesses at least 70% of veterans living in Tennessee aren't receiving the benefits they're due. Many veterans who uh, were in combat and, and uh, had hearing damage, they just thought they had to live with it. They just didn't know. Walden has made it his calling to spread the word in Campbell County. And among the military history hanging on his office walls, his own military medals sit right next to gifts from other veterans. It's the only way they've found to thank the devoted leader of this small office that has helped transform their lives.